Finding nearly 50 cats in a Monroe woman's home Monday, police say they have now found more than 40 more dead. News 3's Chris Gothner spoke to a neighbor who says she tipped off authorities to the latest horrifying discovery. Yet another gruesome discovery in this Monroe home after authorities find 42 dead cats, most of them in a freezer. Last night she called me and she said, Angela, I have cats in my freezer. That's Angela Voigt referring to her neighbor, 78-year-old Dolores Marty. She says after getting that call, she let authorities know right away, leading them to discover the dead cats and kittens. It's breaking my heart to know that she could do something like this. Monroe police released this picture today of the squalid conditions they say they encountered when they first went to Marty's home Monday. Chief Fred Kelly says officers had cited her twice in the past six years for keeping too many cats in other homes. 30 some cats have been found in the past. Now we're at 50. So it's obvious that it's not getting better. It's uh, it's getting worse. Marty appeared in court today where she signed over the 49 living cats found inside to the Greene County Humane Society for adoption. Marty could now face criminal animal neglect charges, officials say, as a means of getting her help. One thing to know about Miss Marty, I think she is a caring person. Um, I think this is probably the result of, you know, some, some behavioral type of issue. Now, with Marty's home considered a health hazard. There's fleas that have infested the residents. We think that some of the animals may have passed simply because they breathed in, you know, flea infested or, or even like cat urine that's atomized into the air. Voigt says she hopes the rescued cats get something they sorely need. They have a lot of love. A lot of love. She didn't give them the love that they deserve. She didn't. As there's a good possibility that this house will end up being raised. In Monroe, Chris Gothner, WISC News 3. Marty's attorney declined to comment after today's court hearing. And officials say Marty's home has more than $60,000 in damage. He has 30 days to make repairs before the city raises it.